Hello everyone, I decided I'm going to do this in free mission uh, because on my main account, the only one which I have uh, Magnum Force, the higher difficulty is unlocked on. He's right smack dab in the middle of the second campaign and I'm not going to play it. replay all those missions just to get back to mission one. So we're going to play this in free mission, basically the same, so it's just how it's going to be. <laughs> Maybe on the last mission, or some of the, some of the later missions, when I get to that point in the campaign, maybe I'll do that. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna play in pre-mission, and uh, we're gonna play this entire game on Magnum Force. I could play it on Armageddon, but that would be suicidal. I mean, I, well, I could I could do it, but you know, not worth it. <laughs> so. Uh, let's let's take a look at the mission briefing. All right, gentlemen, listen up. Our battalion will now begin our amphibious operation on the coast of Shawan Haishidao. The operation will commence early today at 400 hours at 5:30. After our preliminary. Bombardment, the 8th Joint Mobile Unit VTs will be sent out from the assault landing craft to strike the enemy garrison troops. There will be three enemy platoons near the landing port, consisting of VTs and mobile cannons. In addition, it's reported that the Shawan garrison troops that occupy the coastal area consist of a tank troop and two coastal gun batteries equipped with 48 CM guns. Although there seems to have been no increase in enemy strength, there may be some potential resistance from the coastal guns and field battery units occupying the northern coast. Until the enemy forces are eliminated, our supply battalion cannot land ashore. This means you will not be able to receive any supplies until the beachhead is secured. So watch your fuel and ammo consumption. As for your position starting, your position starting from this this operation, you you belong to the start. Starting from this operation, you belong to the Oscar platoon. You are Oscar 3. Rumor has it that you destroyed a two vits on your first time. We're counting on you. Best of luck. All right. We did destroy two vits, didn't we? We were awesome, weren't we? Okay, let's go. Um, now I'm going to take the uh, kind of standard VTs for all these missions, uh, so... I could take a Juggernaut on all these, but that'd be cheap. So, uh, I'm going to take a Decider, because that's the standard. Alright. Here's a Decider. We're going to want to take a field tank on here. Uh, and we... It's probably a good idea to take the 140MG, because the possibility of running out of ammo is decent. So we're just going to go standard over, which uh, means we're going to turn a little bit uh, at of a little bit of a lesser rate, which is not that huge of a deal. And we're going to tip over a little bit easier, but uh, I'm not going to tip over anyway, so we don't really don't have to worry about that. Well, I might tip over. Uh, VTs tip a lot, hell of a lot easier in this game than they do in Line of Contact. You can save it by hitting the uh, the slide step pedal in this game. However, uh, it just gives you a lot more warning in the line of contact. So here we go. Starting up our VT again, hitting the switches, doing all this and that. Uh, what I'm doing, I, I'm going to walk you through this part a little bit greater at this point. Uh, this is changing my map. This is uh, changing my sub monitor view. We're gonna go with the back because that's just what I always do. And we've got to hit the start button after all the the line when all the lines are past that uh, uh, two thirds line there. So yeah, there we go. Now let's walk out of here. And get our freak out. All right.
probably gonna have to downshift a little bit for this water. Yeah, we're slowing down this water, so let's get down to the next lowest gear. Lower gear, not lowest. Um, to the right of my digital speedometer there, uh, the gauge that's going up uh, to 40 right now. Well, yeah, there's 40, 50. Right to the right of that is that's my battery power gauge. So that's gonna determine how much I can uh, slide step. In my sub weapon slot, I'm currently shooting the chain gun. I'll take a look down on that. So that's that's my chain gun. Uh, I'm gonna hold up just a little bit right here, so that I can not get taken out by these doofuses. There, I got the vits. This is a decider. is a first generation VT. Um, it is largely considered to be one of the best first generation VTs in, in both this game and the line of contact. Um, I'm going to take out a few of these guns because they're a pain in the ass. And because we can, we have time. Alright, taking out a few trucks up here. I'll get you a better look at these trucks. I'll use the main monitor zoom here. Uh, yeah, there's there's just transport trucks it looks like uh, normally I'd be going more to the right here but I want to take out these trucks just for the fuck of it and I can't hit them so fuck it there we go I got a couple now we're st the uh the, the uh what do you call that the draw rate the the draw distance in this game really sucks so you can see like buildings popping in over here popping in and out, uh, so that's that's no good, but just pointing it out. Uh, I had to change my magazine there. You only get 20 shots per magazine, and you have to go and change that. There's an exploit, which I may uh, talk about later. Well, <laughs> they claim it's not an exploit. The Japanese do, but uh, the American community, uh, everyone agrees in the American community that it is an exploit, uh, so I guess it's a difference of opinion. I know who's right, but so do the Japanese, I think. Us Americans, I think, are just better sports. The uh, Japanese didn't find it in their hearts to regulate themselves like we did in the online version. And these idiots, what are they doing? But, uh, so here we go. Moving on. I almost fell over there. It's pretty sweet. So I have to take out one or two more VTs here and we should be good to go. But we have, the, the objective for this mission is take out, uh, annihilate 70% of the forces, so... Uh, whatever that means, uh, I guess we have to take out 70% of the VTs, I, I don't know, but uh, I think that should just be about it right there. Yep, here we go. They back up right we wiped out. Okay, anyway, uh, that is what I call success. Do <laughs> that music is way too much fun to resist. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Okay, that was mission one. I'll see you in mission two. Thank you for watching. Later.